Do the chemicals in a Thanksgiving tofurkey send you to sleep? Every year around the end of November you hear stories about something in turkey meat that makes you want to curl up and sleep after a Thanksgiving dinner. But is this phenomenon limited to meat eaters alone, or does the soy-based tofurkey come with the same soporific side effects? That something in turkey meat is tryptophan, one of the essential amino acids we all need to remain alive. Tryptophan is an essential building block of proteins in our bodies, but it's also used in the production of serotonin, a neurotransmitter that helps regulate sleep patterns amongst other things. So that need to doze off after Thanksgiving dinner, the argument goes, is because turkey meat is stuffed full of tryptophan. But what happens if you eat tofurkey instead? According to the United States Department of Agriculture, tofu, which as you might have guessed is what most tofurkeys are made of, contains less than half the tryptophan in roasted turkey. On the other hand, the Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology of Japan claims tofu has over twice the tryptophan content as turkey. The bottom line though is tofurkey contains tryptophan. And depending on whether you have a US or Japanese tofu based tofurkey, it could have an even greater knockout effect than its meaty counterpart. Except that the Thanksgiving tryptophan induced torpor is a myth. As Matt Shipman explains in the article linked below, you can't get enough of the chemical into the brain simply by eating turkey or tofurkey to have an appreciable effect. Instead, that post-Thanksgiving need to nap is probably due to your body doing its best to digest the results of your overindulgence. Either that or a subconscious desire to avoid cleaning up after the meal's finished. And as a final piece of trivia, if you want to know what food has the highest level of tryptophan, it's the Stella sea lion, which comes in at over five times the amount of tryptophan as roast turkey weight for weight. So if you really want to experiment with Thanksgiving induced lethargy, you know what to cook next year. For more insights into the science of risk, don't forget to subscribe to Risk Bites.